What's up traders? I hope you guys are having a green week. Um, today it took a few trades on crude oil. I'm going to break them down in a second. Um, and yeah, we're going to get into the charts, what I did good, some things I did poorly, and yeah, how we're doing overall. So today was a good day, made some profit. Now let's get into the trade. All right, let's get into today's trade on crude oil. Um, my kind of notes going into today were I was going to be I was bullish above this 59.10 level. So if price was to hold above 59.10, um, like it did in the morning at the open, then I was going to get long, right? But this is kind of going against this downtrend we had overnight, right? So it wasn't the best idea, but hey. It was part of the plan. Um, and then also, um, if we are unable to hold this 59.10, then I would look for shorts below this area. Okay. Um, but my overall thesis today was crude was still an overall uptrend. We were bullish above 59.10. Um, but if price accepts below, there was room to retrace down to 58.11, which you see marked down here. Um, and that level was last month's high. Okay, so if I show you last month's high on this chart, you can see it's right here, 58.11, right? So that was where I got that number from, and we are pretty, we were pretty close to achieving that low. Um, so basically. It was kind of a pullback into this 58.11 to continue the uptrend, but we're it's literally playing out right now, so we're seeing what happens from this level. But I did take some trades today, so let's let's get into those. Um, I think I took three trades today. Yeah, three trades. Let's turn them on and let's break them down um, and see what I did good, what I did bad, how you guys could kind of learn from it. But let's see. So the first trade was at 59.28. I took a long position right at the open because um, we we kind of held this 59.10. Like I said, we held 59.10. Buyers stepped in at the open, um, but no real buying on the tape down here. So it wasn't the best uh, play. I was kind of going against this downtrend, right? So overnight. We were pretty imbalanced uh, down, right? Um, and then I was just, I was pretty much predicting that this was going to, you know, accept back into this level and we would, you know, retrace towards yesterday's high, right? But no, nope, didn't happen. And I actually had my stops way too loose on this trade. I should have definitely cut it, sh cut it off um, quickly as it, you know, rejected this value let me turn it off so you could see it better so yeah as we rejected this level and started coming back out of it i should have just cut it out right there but it's all right managed my risk at 14 ticks which was a little too much okay so first trade minus 14 ticks we're down 280 on the morning um and then this area holds again i didn't do much on that um, but yeah, you can see my, my trade was stopped out right here at 14, 59, 14. And then the same thing kind of happens and it rejects developing value area low again. Um, and then finally this 59.10 was broken. So now all shorts, um, everything's pointing down on my charts at this time. So I got the short here, 58.98 as price uh, retraced it pulled back towards this 59.10 didn't even wasn't able to get back up there um, we saw this swing high right here 59.08 as price was turning I got the short and my target was down here at 58.53 right um, I scaled one out right here 58.66 so that made up for the losses from before um, and then I left one on with a target of 58.53. That one got stopped out as we came up here. 
as you can see, 59.10, literally they got me <laughs> right at the top. Uh, maybe not the best stop placement here, but uh, yeah, they got me out here. So now what do I do? I waited to see if buyers were able to push this above 59.10 again, which they weren't. Um, and then I took the short again right here as um, we were breaking through that developing value area low again. And on the weekly chart, it was simply just a pullback. This was a nice pullback into uh, developing value area low on the weekly chart. So yeah, this is a great trade opportunity to get in on the pullback short. Um, I got in as price was breaking this low right here. See that? This is my entry right here, 58.94. And my targets were down here at 58.53 again. But as you can see, your friend Jay scaled out way too early here. Price kind of stopped here and we saw a quick move up from buyers, which was just a little blip. I kind of get caught up in these blips too often. Um, I need to stick to my targets because I left a lot of friggin' money on the table here, right? So maybe what you want to do is just scale out one here, let the other one rot. But, you know, I need to work on this. It's something I need to improve on if I want to become the best trader that I can be, right? But overall, decent location. And, uh, yeah, just need to get better on that uh, trade management. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, as you can see, that target was definitely achieved. Um, and it's, oh, we're still moving down. So yeah, that target, you see that target, 58.11, getting pretty close, right? Um, the day's not over, it's only 12.30. That still could happen. But uh, yeah, those were the three trades that I took today. You can see my P&L up here, plus plus 0.23 which is equivalent to 230 bucks right here um but yeah that is today's trade we're getting out of this drawdown last week you guys know i took some losses but we are climbing back out of it baby let's uh so today was pretty clear to me with my analysis was pretty on point um and yeah i just really need to improve my trade management skills um if i want to be a great trader right now i'm good i'm decent but if i want to be great i really got to follow these damn targets that i put right um so yeah that was crude oil for today nice uh nice downtrend um hopefully this 5811 gets hit that'll make me happy but it's all right. We did. We made some green today. Um, but yeah, going into next week, really got to work on the process um, and stick to these targets because this isn't the first day it happened. It's been happening a lot and I need to let my winners run because I could literally could have made double on this trade if I held it for five more minutes. <laughs> so yeah. That's my mistake of the day. Don't do the same. If you want to be comfortable with, you know, letting your winners run, simply what I could have done was just, you know, move my stop to break even, if that, right? Um, or, you know, just take off one here, right? Plenty of things I could have done, did better, but, you know, I'm improving. Trading is a never-ending never ending constantly improving right so we're working on it we're gonna get better i know what i did wrong today i still made some green uh this is still dropping this is a nice opportunity to get short here but uh i'm done for the day after my targets kind of get hit um you know there's less opportunity in my eyes so yeah that was uh crude oil today we're getting out of this drawdown and yeah, let's make some money. I'll see you guys next week. Have a great day.